is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the hybridization brawl. We are playing some Alaret today. Now if I could just zoom out. Oh my god, I'm zooming in. Okay, well, I guess this is this will be the this will be the cam for the video. We're just gonna be zoomed in. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no, come on. So okay, so my scroll wheel is like completely messed up. Uh, don't worry about that one. Um, I have yet to be able to replace my mouse. Probably won't be able to replace it until next week. Um, I'm about to go pick it up, pick up like a, a mouse from uh, home. Like home, home. There we go. We're joined here by Pendatipus today, who looks like he's playing some Stepman. Exciting. Who's this guy playing? Uh, no, that's that's an Overlord. Okay. Well, I don't know who that guy's playing. So, um, where do people keep their workers, man? Okay. You know what? Ah, oh, whatever. So, raw modifiers. As you can see here, we have the hybrid chamber here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop over here. We have hybrid. We have. Uh, Aura, so we can take a buff for our team and not our team, our units. And we also have a cord, so there's no middle income bonus, so pretty boring What's overall. It's pretty uninteresting here. I think I want to try out, I wanted to try out like a meme Alarak build where I go like chicken nuggets, but I think I want to try Slayers actually. And I think I'm going to go Force. I did want to do Force for, for meme chicken nuggets, but I think with like a lot of Slayers, um, with force and then later on having my um what is it havocs it's gonna be a pretty good idea pretty, pretty good idea so i'm gonna go for that here let's just see i don't know what I'm, i don't know what i'm up against but honestly i haven't built slayers in way too long i think they're actually pretty good i'm up against manx oh boys oh boy oh boy does he have life no he doesn't have life okay could be worse could be worse he could have life um Okay, well against Manx, I probably just want a bunch of uh, probably want a bunch of vanguards, vanguards and slayers, and we'll probably want to have some colossus. I don't know. I think with enough we can take on his sky fairies, but mm, maybe I could just keep it. Maybe I can just keep it all in the ground. Huh? Keep it all in the ground here. Uh, what do I want here? I want Alarak. What's though. the plan? Really want to be able to put down our boy. Our boy Alarak. Our boy Alarak will be able to handle most of those things here. He's not tier 2 yet though, so he doesn't have the disruption wave. Which is probably what I need to handle our opponents there. But it's okay. Let's see what, what modifier does Pendatipus have? Uh, don't know yet. Okay, whatever. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna delay our hybrid here a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna do for I don't know if we're gonna go for a hybrid push this game. I don't think I really need to. I might just go for hybrid as tempo. Um, which is also pretty good. Does Alarak have plus one attack range? Oh, he does have plus one range on his, like, air attack, I guess. Stock is here with, uh, seven range. Okay. Going backward here. That's a lot of marines, boys. You know what? Pandatibus can just go to town on those marines. You're, when you're playing Stepman and you see that many marines... Oh! Oh, that's a blessing, boys. All you need are some... Some beautiful banelings. Probably not even that many. Probably just need a handful of them. Uh, anyways. Havoc over here? Havoc over here? I don't know. I'll Sounds Havoc like over here. I'm going to put now another one of these. Put down one in there. I'm going to go for more hybrid power level. And then I'm going to go for that. Uh, uh, we got some immortals coming out here from Artanis. Quite frankly, I don't know if I would go immortals into the Haka. They're not really the greatest in terms of uh, doing damage. There we go. Boom. Just about to wipe all the boys off the stage here. How much range do I have here? We have nine range on our Slayers here. Oh, that's beautiful. Nine range Slayers, boys. Ooh. Oh, never mind. They lost their nine range. Okay, so Pendatipus, yep, there's the Banelings. Oh, I have them all bunched up thanks to my Slayers as well. Oh, oh, the, oh, beautiful. Oh, one of the Banelings wasted himself on that one of those medics. I'm gonna actually tempo up to hybrid here. I'm not gonna release my hybrid as um as a stack. I'm just, I just gonna, I just want them for the money right now. Uh, I think against Mansk, maybe I should probably release them as a stack. Uh, but I just want to spam Slayers today. I don't know. It's been I feel like it's been too long since I've built Slayers. Um, slayers are just overall not too bad. It's not OP. I think against certain matchups, I think they're pretty strong. Uh, so the telekinesis here. Telekinesis. Ooh. Well, that's the entire wave here. I think Max might be going for Shock Divisions. I hope so, because uh, Slayers are pretty good, good into that. Uh, level up some Protoss weapons here. Uh, maybe I should level up some 
of attack weakness here. So my Slayers do more damage. Destroy that bunker here. Okay, we got some Vikings here. I've grouped them all up. Like, the extra range Slayers is honestly blessed. Nine range on them. And I think Chicken Nuggets have, like, how much attack range do they have? They got four, and then this gives two. So they have six attack range. They're basically going to be the same range as Marines. Oh my god. Finally, Chicken Nuggets having some real range. I'm going to put them back here. We got a few Chicken Nuggets, but I feel like I could use that. Um, just because Alarak could use... I always have some more Chicken Nuggets. By the way, guys, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoyed the Rexpect content, be sure to watch this video until the end to see how this game shapes up because uh, I got a good feeling about this one. We're definitely going to have like a nice long grind on our hands. Uh, and yeah, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys love Rexpect content, be sure to drop a sub to keep up because, you know, otherwise you're missing out. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got those six range chicken nuggets here. Oh, God, Alarak. Can you come over here and. Oh, that's the wrong research. Oh, God. Well, whatever. What did I get? I got the chicken nugget health on the shield. Okay, that's not the wrong research. I guess it's, it's useful. Um, Slayers with force are pretty nice. Um, uh, most of those marines are quite low health. Ooh. Okay, we got some Vikings. I guess Rainer can try and beat down Gary. But what Rainer can't do is avoid the fact that uh, there's a lot of banelings barreling towards him. Okay. Did I get. I got his uh, stun. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think what I do want though is. Oh, do I want vanguards? So I think vanguards are kind of bad into the tanks. I don't know. I don't know. We just spam some tanks here. Especially because Alarak's uh, phase blink is pretty short cooldown as well. Maybe I can try and micro the blink and just blink on top of the tank. Oh, he's got it in for shadow here. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out here. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go. I just blinked all of them. Maybe that was a bad idea. That was definitely a bad idea. Um, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I need a few more Havocs. Let me put like another Havoc back here. Uh, it's okay though. Like that was a hybrid wave, so you know it's like whatever. Like whatever. Another Havoc over here. Over here. It's like these. This guys have range, and then this guys have range. Yeah, there we go. Um. I don't know one of these guys over here. Probably have another Havoc over here. Here somewhere. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, so basically that hybrid push was inconsequential. Excellent. I can probably have I can probably turn my uh, tier one hybrid into like long range hybrid with my Havocs. Because of uh, my force ability here. So we have Emperor Shadow here. Uh, I guess Emperor Shadow can stun my guys, so there is that. Uh, there we go. Okay. Boom. There's an Emperor Shadow like right there. Yeah, they're right there. Extra range Havocs over here. Rainer causing some trouble. I think I just want to get some Vanguards, to be honest. Um, because the Vanguards would be pretty useful as well. And that Epistrator is going for the classic stack breaker here. He's going to crush everything. Super Gary here is uh, doing his best. Oh, he's got Earth. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. Um, let's see, so where am I going to put my Vanguard? Probably back here. Probably back here. Um, how much range does he have? Seven plus, oh my god, seven plus two? Nine range? Pretty good. Pretty pog. Uh, fusion Mortars is probably going to be a must, because there's a lot of hybrid here. Ooh, don't know how to feel about that. Hybrid going to levitate all of those um, Hydralisks here. Uh, there we go. Thing is, there we go. Okay, come on. Boom. We got shields coming out here. They're trying to push on us here pretty hard. I don't think I have enough vanguards. I only have one. He's doing pretty good for himself. Uh, we're going to get pushed in here slightly. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it might be fine. Actually, that just does, does not have enough units here. Yeah, it's not going to be fine. We're going to get pushed in pretty hard here, so let's just put down some hybrid of our own. You're gonna have to respect that. Mm, our opponents have put down a bunch of stuff here. Uh, we'll probably take some damage here. Actually, we're not gonna take any damage. Oh, well, you know what? I've committed my hybrid. They're here. Um, no point in doing otherwise. They're committed. Uh, we got some vanguards over here. And what I really want is probably tier 3. Maybe 4th gas. I don't know. Probably not 4th gas. Yeah, so basically that hybrid commitment wave just did nothing, so um, that was nice. 
I got some shields here. Now it's my turn for hybrid. It's my turn to hybrid. Uh, can this hybrid, like, Graviton Piss in prison? Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get that Protoss armor upgrade. Vanguards will mince up the Rainer ground here pretty nicely. There we go. I'll get the Vikings out of here. Ooh. There we go. Pandatopus got his Banelings coming in. We're gonna connect. We're gonna bit connect on him, boys. Oh yeah, baby. How much range do my Hybrid have? Are these my Hybrid? Okay. If I get the Havoc that's still alive, it's like 8, 10 range. That's pretty good. 10 range is pretty good. Uh, okay, well we're gonna push in here. I'm going tier 3. Why am I going tier 3? Don't know. Looks like we might end the game off of this one, to be honest, because uh, the Haka has some of the Hybrid Dominators. I've never liked those. I feel like they're a little too expensive um, for what they're worth, you know? Um, but to each their own, I guess. I just prefer quantity when you're pushing in. And there it is. See, that's one of the things. You don't want to use your hybrid like if you're not trying to end the game. Because when you're using your hybrid and you're not trying to end the game, um, this is what happens to you. I didn't realize the Dominators had such short attack range. They have a three attack range? That's garbage. And then the Plasma Blast is seven, charging up the only 260. Ah, uh, ew, 260 is nothing. Why would you get that? I guess the Psy Storm's like okay. Um, it's not that great though, you know. Like I, I guess it gives you AOE where you don't normally have AOE. Uh, Pandatopus here doing a lot of damage. Not surprising against that Rainer Wave. Um, just free damage. Let's go on to another one. All right, and we're back just on time too. There we go. Get my power level upgrade over here. <clears throat> oh no, we got that. We got to scroll out. Operation scroll out. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Uh, do I even want to put this down? No, I don't want to put this down. I don't want to betray the fact that I'm Alarak. Uh, <clears throat> Pandatopus looks like he's playing Zagara. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Um, okay, I got that tech up. I'm going to tech up here, actually. I'm gonna at least want something tier 2-ish. Um, something interesting. Hold on, let me just... Boom. There we go. I don't know. With the cord, it's like... It's, I don't like it as much because you sort of sit on your hands and like you have like a little bit less minerals than you normally get. I just kind of hate the modifiers that like reduce the mineral count. It just really sucks. Rainer doesn't even have a gas. What is he trying to do? Maybe he's AFK. Oh god. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like we're against. Oh my god. Pandatopus is gonna have the time of his life. He's against Rainer. Oh look at that marine. Look at him. He's flying. He's flying, boys. He's going to space. If his body didn't despawn, he's definitely going to space. Um, let's see. I'm going to just put down Alarak. Just send him out there. Looks like we got some roaches here. We got a roach. Okay, we got Rainer. Rainer, we got the roach. Gig is going to be up, so I'll put down the photon cannon here. It's down over here. Get down over there. What do we get? Earth, Storm, Force. I can go Force again. Force is not too bad. Earth is kind of whatever. Oh, baby. Um... Do I want to get Force or do I want to get Earth? Ooh, I'm against Tychus. Well, against Tychus, uh, I could go Ascendance. I could go Ascendance. This might actually be a time I could go Ascendance. Now the question is, would it work? You know, the question is, will it blend? Hmm. Storm gives me energy regen, so it might blend. It might just blend. The only issue is I need, um... There's 310. Oh my god. Like, I need a lot of Ascendance to make it blend, you know? Um... As it stands right now, it's probably not gonna blend. Cause, like, Tychus units cost 650, so I can get two Ascendance for the price of one Tychus unit. They can Mind Blast the Tychus unit for 400. Um, in that instant. Alarak, if I have enough I like, I need so many chicken nuggets to fund my uh, ascendance, you know? Um, our Rainer just went mass fire bat. You know what? Fair enough. Mass fire bat is a vibe. Like, I know the Wrathwalker Vanguard strategy will definitely work against Tychus. Um, because it'll force him to build a lot of different things. I think... 
if I'm not mistaken, the Ascendance Bypass Blaze as well. You know what? We got such a we got a golden opportunity, so uh, let's do it. So I'm gonna put down um, an Ascendant here, and then Chicken Nuggets, and then a Havoc. So I think I'm gonna have the Ascendants go back in a line, and then have Chicken Nuggets on their side. So for every Ascendant, I'm gonna have one Chicken Nugget because I also want to make sure Alarak gets his Chicken Nuggets. Uh, I don't want Psionic Orb though. I want Mind Blast. And I want Sacrifice. Also, I think I think Power Overwhelming does stack. It's like they gain ability damage and 100 shields each time they use Sacrifice. I think they can't Sacrifice. Yeah, it's a 30 second cooldown. So, I mean, I guess they can use the Sacrifice thing. There we go. Boom. Mind Blasting over there. It's got that plus 9 range. Boom. Okay, well, he sacrificed. He's dead. That's okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna fund my I'm gonna fund my push here. Although the one thing is, if Tychus goes, oh shoot, if Tychus goes, um, hybrids, I might not be able to mind blast all of them. Um, it could be bad. It could be bad. You know, well, we didn't consider that aspect. Um, maybe a bit of a maybe a bit of a meme there. I think though we should be fine. A cloaking module here. Oh god, nope, we're not fine. Nice beam. We are not fine. There we go. Ascendant has consumed. Uh, oh, does he not have enough energy? What's up? Okay, my blast on the Boswell there. <clears throat> I think we're in a pretty bad shape here. Yes, we're in pretty bad shape. Um, <clears throat> you really want to have more chicken nuggets than you have ascendants by a long shot. Because uh, Alarak is going to eat some of them as well. Uh, right now we're in a bit of a bad spot. Because ascendants are going to... Uh, restoring all energy. All energy. Come on. I, see, I just need to not cast their psionic orb. Uh, or I guess in this case maybe to cast them because if there is a Rainer that I'm pushing into. Uh, boom. Boom. Okay. Okay, Psionic Orb there did do some damage. Uh, not the kind of damage I wanted it to do, but... You know? Did some damage. We got some Locusts here. We got a Sam coming in here. Oh, Jesus. Uh... We're gonna need more chicken nuggets though. We're gonna need some chicken nuggets up here as well. Uh, this may have been an ill-advised build. Mostly because Ascendants don't really start showing how good they are until like... A little bit into the game. A little bit too far into the game. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I need to have at least four or five Ascendant um, nuggets for Alarak. Otherwise we're in a pretty bad spot. I'm gonna make sure my... Uh, Psionic Orb does travel further though, because I think I will have to use it against Abathur. Uh, might have to micro it too. I don't know. Do I want Mind Blast here? There we go. Oh, I think they have Mind Blasted. Mind Blast, boom. Send out an Orb. There we go. The Orb here should do some damage. There we go. I mean, we got the Energy Regen too, so it's gonna help. These guys have one charge of sacrifice, right? Yeah, they have one one charge of sacrifice. Uh, okay, they mind blasted Boswell. The Boswell recovered uh, with his extra life. What's the plan? You know, just means we don't have enough ascendants, right? Uh, there we go. How are these guys doing? These guys are completely out of abilities. They can they can sacrifice again, but I have no more chicken nuggets to sacrifice. Uh, there we go. I think. I should have at least four nuggets per ascendant. Do I have that? I got three ascendants. That means I should have twelve nuggets. Not even close to having twelve nuggets. I only have ten nuggets, I think. Um, I, got, I think that's a better distribution here. I'm gonna put my my cannon back here. Um, the tech weakness over here. We should get that. This is our Rainer pushing forward, I think. Uh, okay, Sam has gone invisible. I think he's gonna try and counter me like that. Boom! Those ascendants just mind blasted Boswell right there. That's what we're saying. That's what we're talking about here. Can they mind blast the cannon? I don't think they can. Boom! 
Can the Ascendants here use, uh... Oh yeah, they're using their orbs, boys. The orbs are doing okay. Uh... Yes, we finally get to showcase some Ascendants. Uh, ooh, I want to build more. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, I keep building more Ascendants. I don't build enough Chicken Nuggets. We need more Nuggets. Um, Cigar here getting that close to the blaze could be pretty good for us. Pretty bad for them. Oh yeah, that, that's looking pretty bad for them. Especially because there's two abs there. Oh, never mind. They didn't connect with the base, but I don't know. They're going to connect with the base, boys. Well, that's probably going to be a, that's probably going to win here. Yeah, that's a win. Pike is sending out all his hybrid, but one wave's too late. Even I didn't send him a hybrid there. Well, you know what? We can say the Ascendants did it. Uh, did they actually do it, though? Probably not. Um, don't worry about that one. Um, I think I think it was that Rainer surprise push at the end. And then, like, and that this is all his units just, like, like on one side. They're pretty nice. Oh, they both have ice. Let's see, what I, what, how much damage? Yeah, I didn't do much damage here. Ascendants are a pretty big meme. Um, you don't really get to see how strong they are until, like, much, much later into the game. I think, like, I had one game. I don't know who I played with. It was somebody. I think it was Wildcard. I had, like, a full field of Ascendants. It was, like, a, it was, granted, it was, like, a 30, 40-minute game. But, like, by that time, like, I think it was, like, Abathur Wave just sort of pulled up. And, like, all my Ascendants would cast their orbs. And it would just annihilate everything. Unfortunately, though, it takes 30 minutes to get there. But when you do get there, it's a lot of fun. Let me see if I can get one of those games for you guys. Sometime. Sometime. You know, I think we need Bountiful in order for that to happen. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.